This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Function with Parameters, Part 18. So, AP Practice Performance Task Response. A few things. When you submit this, I can tell you, as a teacher, I get your answer. Well, I won't get your answer, but your teacher will get your answer. You can't edit it, you can't change it, and uh, at least I go through them. So does your teacher. So make sure you think about this um, and not just, you know, type something in and hit submit to move on. Second thing, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what my answer would be. Um, plagiarism matters. You need to come up with your own answer in your own words. Uh, it's good to discuss these. It's good to talk more about them. But your answer must be in your own words. Please keep that in mind. All right. AP practice performance task response. The AP Create Performance Task Response asks you to write about an abstraction that you develop and wrote into your own code. Most of the time, that means identifying a function or procedure you wrote to help manage complexity in your program, which is crucial to computer science. Here is the actual prompt from the Create Performance Task. 2D. Capture and paste a program code segment that contains an abstraction you developed individually on your own. Seems redundant individually on your own, marked with a rectangle. This abstraction must integrate mathematical and logical concepts. Explain how your abstraction helped manage the complexity of your program. Not more than 200 words. Yikes. It's less than a tweet. Well, the new type of tweet. Um, below is a segment of code from an under-the-sea program with a rectangle drawn around a portion of the code identifying an abstraction. Imagine that you wrote this and are comprising an AP response about how this abstraction manages complexity. Note, ignore the requirement that the abstraction integrate mathematical and logical concepts for the practice response. Just write about managing complexity. All right, computer programs are complex, very much so. And so looking through a code and being able to understand what a program does enables us to create more complicated programs, edit them more easily, and collaborate more easily as well. So what they have put in this rectangle is the draw fish function. On its own, if we were just reading through code, let's say this was deleted, draw fish function was deleted. If I was just looking through this code, right, and I got rid of this function, honestly, I wouldn't really know what we were creating here, right? In my head, I don't just imagine, oh, turning 90 degrees and moving forward and then turning 30 and then moving forward and then turning 120 creates a fish image. I can't process that in my brain. I would have to see it work. So creating a function to do this makes sense, especially since it's for a very specific task. And that way, in the main part of our program above it, when we are asking our code to run stuff, right, because functions don't run on their own, and the main part of the code, when I'm going through and wondering what's happening, it's really easy for me to see, oh, this is me drawing seagrass. And if I want more info, if I want to understand what that is, I go down to the function that's called draw seagrass, and I know exactly what that code is doing, right? So it becomes much more easy, much easier for me to understand what a program is doing. It's not just the understanding, it is also the redundancy issue. So I want to draw several fish. The idea of me writing all of this code three times is, well, it's more taxing on me, it's more taxing on a computer, and it's more confusing to everyone. So abstraction, right? And abstraction, we're reducing the information and focusing on the relevant concepts, right? We're looking at the bigger picture of a program, kind of whittling it down and getting just the essentials so we have a very lean and efficient program. And that's what doing this function does, having this function does. So Explain how abstraction marked with the rectangle in the code above helps manage complexity of this program. Um, using a function with parameters Oh, let's see here. Manner. Okay. 
So what I have, using a function with parameters enables the code to be more uh, enables, and probably mine, right? This is supposed to be mine. Enables my code to be more efficient and readable. It allows the program to have a clear structure that, let's not use allows twice, enables, enables it to accomplish complex tasks in a straightforward manner. Hmm, I'm using enables twice. I should plan this out. Let's have it like this. It allows the program to have clear structure and to accomplish complex tasks in a straightforward manner. All right, so that would be my answer to this. Again, uh, plagiarism is bad and an issue, so make sure you come up with your own answer in your own words. But abstraction is crucial to programming. So functions are a very powerful form of that abstraction. All right, let's keep uh, going.